Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So I'm here with the January 2018 Book and a Brew subscription box. It's a monthly subscription box, or you can get a one-off box every month, and it comes with a box of tea and a different book every month. There aren't any choices to make, you just, everyone gets the same book and the same tea. Um, but it's an exciting way to read a variety of different books you might not have otherwise picked up. Um, so far I've enjoyed all but maybe one of the books that just really wasn't for me. But you've got to read them to try them, haven't you? So, let's have a look and see what's in this new box. So the tea is by a brand called OTs, which has been in, featured in quite a lot of the Book and a Brew boxes. And it's a strawberry cream infusion. I haven't tried this particular flavour, um, but the other OTs teas that I've had have been pretty tasty. Indulge in a classic British flavour, pairing with a cup of this delicious strawberry and cream tea blend. With a wonderful hibiscus flower base, this tea is enhanced by hints of sweet apple, distinctive rose hip, zesty orange and the unforgettably creamy taste of strawberries. Delightfully fragrant and full of naturally sweet ingredients, this tea is also caffeine free, meaning it can be enjoyed at any point of the day. It's got quite a long uh, time there on the brewing instructions, five to ten minutes. I think it also probably quite nice as a iced tea. And they are little pyramid biodegradable tea bags as well. And then on to the book. And then there's a leaflet explaining everything we've got inside, which we'll look at in a moment. So it's always nicely wrapped in tissue paper. Always makes it seem a bit more extra special. So this book is called The Looking Glass House. It's by Vanessa Tate. Very nice illustrations there on the front. Lovely. What happened before Alice fell down the rabbit hole? Oxford, 1862. As Mary Prickett takes up her post as a governess to the daughters of the Dean of Christ Church, she is thrust into a strange new world. Mary is poor and plain and desperate for change, but little girls in her care see and understand far more than their naive new teacher. And there is another problem. Mary does not like children, especially the precocious Alice Liddell. When Mary meets Charles Dodgson, the Christchurch mathematics tutor at a party in the deanery, she wonders if he may be the person to transform her life. Flattered by his intentions, Mary begins to believe that she could be more than just an overlooked, dowdy governess. One sunny day, as Mary chaperones the Littles on a punting trip, Mr Dodgson tells the story of Alice's adventures in Wonderland, but Mary is determined to replace Ad Alice Liddell as Mr Dodgson's muse and will turn all the lives around her topsy-turvy in pursuit of her obsession. The Looking Glass House is based on extensive research and draws in its realism from memorabilia and stories handed down from Alice Little to Vanessa Tate, Alice's only great granddaughter, shedding new light on one of the greatest children's books ever written. Well, that's interesting. I love how there's actually a familial connection there to the author. And like I said, a beautifully looking book. And then the little leaflet just explains, this month we go back to the Victorian era to meet the inspiration behind the famous Alice in literature. And our tea this month is a fruity, refreshing brew that would be welcome at the Mad Hatter's table. Here's what you'll find inside your box. And that's the book and obviously the tea as well there. So I do hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. You'll be seeing on screen now some of the previous unboxings I've done for Book and a Brew. I have been a subscriber for quite a while, so there are quite a few of them. So I do hope you will like this video and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.